my question is, is that, are there a, any frequencies being used <clears throat> for uh, public dis or information, HF, VHF, things of that nature that people can tune in to to understand what's going on? Uh, that we have Amron, Tapron, and all that. Please advise any frequencies that are being currently used to advise of the current situation down there. Thank you. Hear me? This is Rock. Ben, George. Yeah, I hear yes. you, man. I'm in Georgia as well. Yes, I can hear you. Here, I can hear you. Here. There was a question earlier in regards to firearms laws in Nevada. Um, I lived in Nevada. You lived in Clark County for a while. Um, the only tricky thing that they have is handgun laws there. Um, there's a specific time limit. Once you go into the state, you're supposed to go take your firearms to the local police department and let them inspect them, and they issue like a, a blue card. Can anyone hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. Yes. This is Ohio. There's a lot of misinformation going on on the net. And I know a lot of you have seen this. Uh, people posting that, uh, that the militias have uh, sit down handed over their weapons, which I know is a bunch of bull. Uh, can anybody confirm anything about what's going on out there? This is Ohio, by the way. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Loud and clear. I know. Yeah, this is, I'm in Kentucky, man, and uh, I've got, I got buddies down there, and that's a bunch of bullshit. And um, they... Um, they're checking the police. They're pulling people over and checking cars for weapons as people come in the state now. Uh, is there any this is David in Georgia. I've got a quick question and maybe an idea that I kind of want to throw out. Um, just to avoid any of the misinformation that you're talking about with the media and uh, you know the official government reports and everything that are never going to come of this, we need to find some way to get some kind of live feed, uh, like a constant video. So trying that, to find myself, yeah. Yeah, because I think that'd be a, a really, really useful tool. Use, use, and, use stream. Yeah, use stream. They also have in league press. Normal phone. What about a, a GoPro? The in league press does the live web streaming. It, it automatically feeds into the stream. Well, we also even even if there was some way to just record it and have it stored somewhere digitally that's safe, because I know you guys know as well as I do, if it goes down like Waco or whatever, the feds are going to go through. They're going to they're going to collect any and all information as evidence, and then it'll be uh, it'll be cut and, and 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 edited and put together to make it match their story. Contact. Uh, can I inject a quick question real quick and an idea to it as well? I I have a question. Um, I've heard of reports about uh, excavation equipment being moved into the area with armored trucks surrounding them. And also, I would like to have a live feed uh, or infrared cameras in the area for night kit because there's already... The feds already have infrared night vision cameras stationed around the area and cameras in each valley monitoring to make sure there's no uh, counter movements going on. So anyone who could bring an infrared camera out there would be extremely beneficial. And can anyone confirm or deny that they have been moving in excavation equipment in that area? Can you guys hear me? 
Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we can. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm here in Cedar City, Utah. I uh, I work for one of the Bundys down there. Um, they have had excavation equipment down there. They've taken dump trucks and backhoes into that public land, and they've torn out water tanks that have been there previous to the Bundys being there. They've been there for hundreds of years. They're basically just taking over the land and putting it back to nothing. I have a question. Yeah. Go ahead. Bonner's Prairie, Idaho. Uh, are there any HF frequencies being utilized for communications outside of the normal normal social media network for Amron. All right, hey Amron. guys, this is uh, Brian trying to host this call here, man. We've got a, kind of a cluster out there for a second. Um, I was trying to answer that question earlier, and it looks like we've got a little bit of infiltration somehow uh, on this control panel. I can see uh, a handful, a slew of numbers that have come in that uh, are coming uncoded uh, as all zeros, and then just as they come in, uh, we've had a little bit of chaos as far as some muting happening there and uh, what not. I, I seem to have resolved the problem by refreshing here uh, for now, but I wanted to give that uh, high frequency code. We had a lady that was uh, 10 miles away from the scene that was using her repeater out there. So I'm going to give you her handle and the repeater code that we're using. Uh, that is, and anybody want to jot that down, you could probably use one of the uh, our uh, scanners to get to a repeater. They have some online ones that will do that. But uh, 443. Eight five zero, and you're looking for her. Uh, what, what is it called when you have your own uh, call, call call letters? It's uh, K F G. I'm sorry, K F five Z Y G. That's I repeat, K F five Z Y G. And you should be able to communicate with people that are using radios in that area with a repeater. Oh, I have a question right there. That I'm trying to find a pen. I want to write that down. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that one more time. Sorry to interrupt you here, brother, but uh, we've got Chino Fox Street, Jerry Yankee Golf. Again, KF5 Z Zebra, white girl. I'm sorry, white yellow zebra. So KF5ZYG in this frequency 443850 is what they're using right now. Okay, do they have any HF high frequency frequencies they're using over? Uh, this is all I have for now. We've also got uh, boots on the ground. Uh, uh, Brian that was or yeah, Brian that was on last night. He's there on the scene right now. He is actually the uh, liaison between the ranchers and the militias right now. Uh, I'm going to actually be hanging up in a couple of seconds and calling back in, seeing if I can get him to call in on the line. Actually, uh, you know, if, if anybody else here actually has boots on the ground, you can press star six to unmute yourself and star six to remute yourself. We're getting some feedback from other phones right now, so go ahead and press star six again. If uh, you don't have anything pertinent to say, if you're get, like that person, Karen, that just chimed in, I can hear everything going on in your house. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you could back down so we can all uh, hear what uh, I'm saying? I can hear what you're saying right now. Do you have something I, to say, ma'am? Yes, I have something very important to say. All right, now you've got the floor, ma'am. I am the descendant of Red Cloud, Raging Bull, and Black Elk. You have, the feds have absolutely no rights on that ground. And if they think for any moment that they are going to continue to take from the American people and put us, the American people, in slavery to man, they are wrong. God rules this nation. God owns that land. That is public land. That land was given to him to use years ago. The federal government has no right. Uh, I didn't mean to mute you out there, ma'am. I'm going to go ahead and let you speak, but I'm going to need you to tone it down a little bit. Not Your attitude, I like that, but uh, your volume. All, all we're hearing is Charlie Brown's people, so uh, if, if you want to come back in, that'd be great. Press star six, and uh, you can come back in, but you're coming in so loud, we can't understand what you're saying, ma'am. Uh, I appreciate, uh, you know, if anybody else chimes in later, uh, that you, you know, go ahead and speak like an you know, average human so we can all hear what you have to say. I appreciate what you are saying, but... Uh, you're coming in way too loud for anybody to even hear you, man. 
right. You want to try that again? Can anybody hear me? Uh, I got a All question. Right, I got a question from uh-huh. Missouri here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Let's do this one at a time. The first guy that just chimed in, uh, two three eight uh, five three five five. Go ahead. Say what you got to say. Uh, yeah, I've heard reports of excavation equipment being moved in with armored vehicles, and I think it would be very helpful if people set up infrared or night vision cameras around the area as well to counter theirs because they have technological advances over that we do. So I want to know if anyone has any of those IR cameras out there and any reports on that excavation equipment moving into the compound. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Brian again, man. Um, I, I know you, don't I? Uh, no, you do. Okay, your voice sounds extremely familiar, brother. Uh, no problem. Um, it, it, for who we can't speak to and who's heading out there, uh, obviously they're coming as equipped as possible if they have those capabilities. Ho- hopefully they already thought of that. If you're heading out there, feel free to bring some night vision. It's very important. We did have boots on the ground saying that all their campsites, uh, all three of them are being completely monitored. Um, we were working with some people from the uh, Gazdan Air Force that were actually uh, able to come through uh, earlier today and do a couple uh, uh, scouts from the sky, so to speak. Um, but, yeah, I highly recommend also, yeah, along with all your other supplies, definitely night vision is going to be coming in handy if, uh, if it comes down to that. At least we can monitor the monitors. Um, anybody else need to speak up one at a time, please? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. The first man that just chimed in, I saw your area code, uh, 1075, uh, last four digits. Can you go ahead and speak up? Yeah, I had, I had a question about a rumor that I heard uh, people setting up the roadblocks and confiscating guns along the way. Well, are you getting confirmation on that? Uh, as of right now, that's a rumor, sir. We've got uh, three people that I'm aware of that have stated that, but uh, I'm waiting for somebody boots on the ground to actually chime in. You know, we've got a lot of rumors we're trying to quell. That's the purpose of this conversation. Um, and, again, we've had some people that said they're going to call back in uh, that were boots on the ground that had to leave the scene for a little while. I can confirm that, yeah, the cell towers, a couple of them were out earlier today. They reset them. Uh, apparently they're back on. We've got uh, Mr. Niblock who's uh, trying to give reports right now from uh, Facebook. So, you know, a lot of people are trying to chime in and get some answers, man. That's pretty much where we are. Uh, we had a retired lieutenant colonel who met with uh, – one of the special agents from BLM um, is pretty much uh, the only thing that they were able, able to ask was his name, and he, he wouldn't give any more information. Um, but we do know that the people that are there uh, with the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, uh, I can pretty much confirm at this point that not all those guys have worked with them very long. Uh, apparently, under the guise uh, of the BLM, um, we, we can't say specifically you know, what contractors they are, but they are definitely... Uh, for hire and just came on the job recently. They're probably backlogged as far as personnel uh, to handle this growing situation. Um, as far as growing situation, uh, what we have seen, you know, via video, what we can confirm is yes, there was a couple people were chased, a couple people were arrested. Um, we, we cannot quite confirm right now about confiscations. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to mute yourself out if you're not going to say anything pertinent. I hear you yelling at your kids, so you just got yourself muted. Um, anyways, that, that's all we've got right now. You know, I just gave out a frequency that they're using as a repeater out there. Uh, I don't have the capability to, to do that right now. My standard won't reach that far. Uh, we, there's not enough repeaters, but, um, you know, we gave out that data. And, again, boots on the ground are going to be chiming in here in a little bit. Um, if you're just coming into the call, we've got 100 and almost 50 people on the line right now. If uh, you're not speaking, I need you to press pound six. And if you've got something to say later, go ahead and press the six again and chime in. Uh, we're getting a lot of bad feedback from a lot of cellular calls that aren't paying attention to what I'm saying right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and mute you. Don't feel bad. It's nothing personal. But uh, What's the a lot of bad feedback. Hey, brother, you got a copy? Yeah. Uh, 4150 with your last four digits, 4150. You just spoke up. You got the floor, brother. What's your question? Hey, my man, I was on earlier. Uh, your boy Mike came on, and then everything dropped out. Did, uh, did I miss anything? Did any new news come in the last 20 minutes? Uh, no, not really. Just a lot of questions. We're trying to get people all on the same page, brother. That's the purpose of the phone call. But uh, stay tuned. we got boots on the ground that plan on chiming in here in the near future. 
Again, if you just came on the call and you don't have something to say, I need you to press star six and go ahead and mute out your phone. Jim, I have a very quick question. Can you, can you hear me? 1549. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, sir. If you could go ahead and pause that. I'm going to go ahead and let that lady speak, and then she'll go ahead and mute herself out. What was your question, ma'am? I'm sorry. Um, earlier you had the Alaska Oath Keeper on, and he said to start hashtagging everything regarding to the Bundy Ranch on Facebook. Uh, the hashtag Oath Before Order. I'm kind of curious. When I looked that up on Twitter, it doesn't link to anything, so I want to make sure that I have the right hashtag to tell everybody to use. Uh, what I had was Oath Before Orders, hashtag Oath Before Orders. Uh, that's, you know, unfortunately not really the goal of this call. If anybody wants to start using that, great, but I'd like to keep the focus where we were at. Um, so, Sandra, hopefully that helps you out. Other than that, I don't know what to tell you about hashtags. I don't twit. Um, Mar- Martin but as Miller. far as this conversation, uh, Martin Miller, go ahead, speak up. Yeah, hey, I got a couple questions, um, and then I got uh, something I want to say. Um, earlier, somebody said something about confirm, you know, could you confirm or, or deny the shots fired thing, and I never got a response on that. And then how many cows do you, do you guys know are, are left there? Because it seems to me that these, these guys are going to leave that area as soon as they have all the cows gone. Uh-huh. There's going to be no sense for the BLM to be there. Um, so something needs to be done to enforce that we keep that. going there. Uh, wireless caller 4533, wireless caller 4533, you had a, uh, an answer to that question? Um, they post daily on the BLM website how many cows they are saying they have rounded up. And as of today, it was like 376. Um, on, the, on the Bundy page on Facebook, um, the Bundy family actually did a flyover yesterday in a personal aircraft and did their own head count of the cows. And they're only counting 120 to 130 head of cattle that are pinned up in their compound. Okay, now, now the, the question is, do they leave once they've got all the cows? And then um, they're they're a long ways off from that. There's over a thousand head of cattle. Oh, I thought there was on only six hundred. Okay, so so then then there's still time. Okay, that's that's good to, to know for me. Um, okay. And what about the shots fired? What about the shots fired? Did we get anything on that? Negative. Okay. There, there have been no shots fired down there. Okay, good, good to know. I heard Thank you. On the cattle. Uh, uh, we yeah. got in Missouri again. I didn't get an answer on the excavation equipment. Does anybody have an answer on that? Yes, the excavation equipment. They went in there and tore out all the water tanks on that BLM supposed land. They went in and demolished all water tanks. Uh, yeah, so let's call it 4533. Hang on a second. We had a question. Uh, if we could go ahead and let that man chime in. If you've chimed in in the last couple of minutes, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and mute yourself out for a minute and uh, ask, you know, let other people get a chance to step forward. Um, so go ahead and press pound six. If you don't have something to say, um, just go ahead and chime yourself out for a few minutes and let the next person speak. Uh, Benjamin Smith, you're the last man that had your hand up. I just came back in. I was charging my uh, my headset. Let me listen to a couple and see where we're at. All right. Can you meet yourself up, brother? Start with yourself, please. That's something for the game. I got information on the cow. Jason. All right. Wireless caller 4150. Hold up a second. Wireless caller 4150. You just chimed in. It's your turn. Yeah, the Bundy, the Bundy Facebook page has just recently posted all the information as to where their cattle is going and when the auction date is set for it's on there, the Bundy's uh, Facebook page. It's set for Monday, isn't it? Uh, I believe it is. I'm out on the porch away from my kids, and my computer's in there. So I'll stand by a minute, and I'll chime back in here in a second and let you know exactly what day. The last All right, if you can mute yourself back out so you come back through, per- I appreciate it. Code 1777, what did you have to say, sir? The last that I saw on Facebook that the cattle were going to be auctioned off Monday. People. Which is also because they're stolen cattle. Is that not a federal mm-hmm. Because they're going to keep the money from it. On the Bundy thing. 
Can anybody confirm or deny that? Uh, no, we're actually waiting for some more boots on the ground to chime in here in a little bit. Uh, we got a promise of a couple people that we're going to call in. I'm going to ask one more time. You know, we got a couple people being real rude right now. I don't know if you don't speak English or what the case is, but I can hear you yelling at your kids. I can hear TVs in the background. Uh, I can hear you heavy breathing on the phone and eating a bag of chips. So I'm just muting you out if you're just being a little excessive right now. Don't take it personally, but uh, you're not being courteous, and uh, I'm starting to lose my patience as well with the people that can't follow simple instructions and press pound six to mute yourself out of the conversation so we can get some things done here, okay? Uh, go ahead and move forward. May I ask a question? I, I got my I'm going to go ahead and let area code, last four digits, 9322. Go ahead and chime in, sir. Yes, I have a question. Is your name Brian? That's me, sir. Brian, can you tell us who you are? You uh, yeah, we'll, we'll ask away. I mean, how do you relate to the whole thing? And um, I'm just wondering um, who you are. Yeah, plain and simple, man. I'm the one hosting this conference call. Uh, I represent, I'm the HR recruiter for the Illinois Sons of Liberty. Uh, our numbers have grown from 600 to 6,000 in the last two years. Uh, we have a very large network. We've been communicating with a lot of other groups across the country. Uh, we were a little worried that uh, groups were raising their DEF CON level to ground one, so we figured out we'd take this statewide conference call, turn it into a national conference call yesterday. Uh, at our peak, we broke uh, now 180 today. Yesterday was a uh, high of 130 people. Uh, we put out a request to leadership or just curious Americans, patriots and such to uh, chime in. So we can, you know, get everybody we can on the same page. Uh, as as of now, you really can't trust the mainstream media or all the hype that's going on on, uh, you know, Facebook right now. So we just uh, did what we did with our network and uh, created a call and trying to use some of the tools and technology available to us here in 2014. And uh, pretty simple. As far as who as I am, man, I'm a Native American, uh, you know, white guy, half and half here in Chicago, just trying to get by and uh, get some people on the same page, man. Uh, you know, I'm a freedom lover and a patriot. I've got a large network of uh, other patriots that uh, I invited to this call. So if you're on this call, you went through some sort of phone tree or chain of command or Facebook post of uh, a lot of my brothers out there helping me spread the word, and uh, it's pretty much the bottom line. Anything else I can answer for you? Okay. Well, yeah, I, I, have, just, I was just curious, but let me give – I have the uh, the address, the Facebook address for the official – uh, Bundy Ranch Facebook page. Would you like me to give that out? You've got the floor. Might as well get to it, man. Spit it out. It's hey, I got a question. It's oh, hang on. Let this man speak. Okay. The official Bundy Ranch Facebook page is at facebook.com forward slash Bundy Ranch. That's B-U-N-D-Y-R-A-N-C-H. I want to say thank you for that information, and Plano, right. Illinois, is, is on the line listening. Thank you. Okay, uh, sorry, who was that that just chimed in? Yeah, I had a question. Was, one second. Who was that that just chimed in? Hang on one second. Who was that that just chimed in? Plano, Plano Illinois. Yeah. Hey, Frank. Young is Plano, Illinois. All right, represent. All right, go ahead. Uh, area code 630, that was you, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you if you just came on the call, and uh, we're going to try to you know, be as polite as we can. I need you to press star six to mute yourself out, and then uh, press star six if you need to speak up when we have uh, open Q&A. But uh, I think Ben was trying to say something. Ben, go ahead. All right. Um, yeah, right now, I mean, I'm stuck in um, Memphis, Tennessee, but, I mean, I've got – I offer any kind of st overarching strategy, tactics, coordination – with, um, you know, movement, you know, hopefully not fire and movement, and anything needed, uh, let me know, and I'll be in route. Are you heading to uh, Ground Zero right now? No, um, but I'd like to know some information about it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and ask your question, and I'll try to answer both at the same time. Uh-huh. I think she's up. Yeah, no time for cold feet. Go ahead, speak up, man. What do you need to say? Uh, my husband is an oath keeper. Um, who, what, what states are they calling in for help? Anybody. Uh, all of them, except for Alaska, probably, in Hawaii. 
Okay, they want they want all oath keepers from all the states to go to, to the Bundy Ranch in Nevada. If you got a belly button and, and, and a way to get there, where you go, you know, uh, just don't, don't come in, don't come in guns and blazing, and uh, get a hold of the chain of command because uh, anybody coming in there right now, you know, guns are blazing, they're pretty much not welcome there right now. Uh, if you come in as a protester unarmed, you'll probably get by. If you come in as a militia member in your BDUs with your guns blazing, you're probably going to get turned around or possibly guns confiscated at this time. So uh, what we're recommending is bring all the supplies you can, but uh, as far as the initials, sorry, I had to mute you out. Uh, again, one more time, if you guys are, don't have something to say, I need you to press star 6 on your phone and mute yourself the hell out. Because uh, you're ruining this phone call. we got 170 people in the room. Okay. And, uh, ma'am, uh, go ahead. No, I'll let you go then if you're busy. All right, 10 four. Yeah, bye-bye. Okay, um, can I have a, say a word real quick? Sure. Uh, last four digits, 3245, go ahead, speak up. Yes, my question is, okay, I have two questions. Now, I've been reading all over Facebook, which I know is probably not fully true, but I've been hearing that everybody has been disarmed at the front line. Uh, no one's allowed to enter. This, the, the, the second, the, my second question answer. is, if you would like to, you know, answer that, is that is this somewhat of a determinant off of American Spring going to happen? May uh, that's kind of the feeling that that's going around, man. This actually, yeah. uh, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't necessarily say a deterrent. What I, what I see is, in, in you know, my perspective, that's all I can give you, and you know, take it for, with a grain of salt. But, uh, you know, I try to be an honest man, you know, and uh, based on my perceptions, uh, it, it, what it does feel like is there is some media spin and attention. A lot of it's going through on Facebook. You know, we know that there are private paid contractors wearing BLM uniforms right now. We know right. that from, from on high, this is actually more of a military request to have these people here. And what seems to be happening is more of an aspect of eminent domain. It's not really about cows and tortoises, man. There's definitely minerals. Right. Uh, there's an oil pipeline. There's fresh water going all throughout this region. And other, uh, other regions also are reporting similar, but yet not as, uh, 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 let's say, popular uh, situations going on. Uh, in this region specifically. Um, as far as the uh, media spin on it, I, I don't watch TV, and I'm damn proud to say that I haven't watched TV in my home for over seven years. Um, but, you know, I try to stay in what communication I am using tools like this. Uh, that right. hopefully and add, it's, it's, add to your question. Yeah, and, the, and, and the biggest thing is with me, though, here's what I feel like, okay? I feel like, okay, you, you're going to send a freedom call in to a desk in the open, when you know that they have, you know, drones and everything available, and it's almost like leading sheep to slaughter. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like you lead a massive group of three percenters and everything to an open area, and, you know, what, where's your cover? You know what I'm saying? That, that's how I feel about the whole situation, and, you know, it is, it's just my opinion. But I just, you know, I, I just, a little bit of it about me is like, you know, it's almost like a deterrent, if you ask me. Oh. Well, look at it like this, bro. The way the way we kind of discussed this uh, yesterday was uh, th this is a test. This is, yeah, exactly. you know, is there, it, whether or not it's an intended test, this is a test of the American people. You've got a lot of hotheads across the country. Uh, it, it's, at the way I see it, it's kind of like we're frogs in a pot. And yep. it's been boiling for quite some time. They, did, they, they turn the heat up just a little bit more every so often, and right now the heat's pretty much turned up a lot past lukewarm, if you know what I'm saying. And, and right now, it depends. Are we going to jump out of the pot and go ape shit? Or are we going to sit in the pot? Or, or, you know, what are we doing? That's really the focus of this conversation is, where is everybody today? Where, where, can we get a, a hold of, you know, the guys that are boots on the ground? What do they want us to do? What does the rancher need us to do? You know, specifically, we've got a lot of guys that want to go out and show support right now. We get it. We know we're just going to safely recommend don't go in guns and blazing. Go in as a protester. That's what you are right now. No matter what you represent, you're still a protester. We're all militia. If you got a belly button and you were born here, you're pretty much militia anyway. But you don't have to go in as a hothead. You know, we know it's an open carry state with certain legalities on uh, calibers and such. But, you know, if somebody's stupid enough to go in there with RPG or anything you've been stashing from uh, Vietnam, you need to relax. Uh, let these guys handle their own and, uh, you know, worry about yours and worry about what's going on. Obviously, there's a, a serious situation developing here, but uh, you know if you're going to be sending people out, we highly are not recommending guns, guns a blazing. If possible, caravan and keep your munitions in one vehicle 
and you know send a couple of scouts ahead as protesters uh, just to you know see what can be accomplished right now. Ben Smith, speak up. Um, with what's going on there, why does everybody want to get on the X Ground Zero? Uh, with the the style of what they're doing there, they're surrounding and they're just going to sit there and wait it out almost like a siege. How come we do, do we have anybody there um, doing standoff and kind of almost being just outside of them, outside of us, or anything like that? Do we also have any intel on who these contractors are from being employed by? Because in the World War II memorial, uh, they were being um, given money by UNESCO, like mm -hmm. Metropolitan Police which is like the UN na national people giving money to Am Americans to conduct war or possibly kill Americans on American soil. And j just saying, like, why is everybody trying to get inside the circle? We should surround them. Uh, that's pretty much the unintended effect that may very well happen, bro. There's only four major routes to get to this area. Uh, all four of them are somewhat cordoned off, but you still got... Uh, we, you know, we had confirmed at least five to ten states yesterday that mentioned that they were going to be sending people in this direction, um, and that's only the ones that have chimed in on this phone call. Uh, we had easily 25 different uh, militias from across the country chime in yesterday, although some were from, you know, we had five groups from Texas and et cetera, et cetera. Um, we can just about verify, like I said, everybody's in a high DEF CON. Everybody's getting a little agitated and a little worried about what may or may not happen in the near future, but... Uh, you know, we can confirm any gunshots. We can confirm, yes, they're uh, monitoring and surrounding these guys. You know, they're probably just in as much of a, uh, you know, I don't want to say panic mode as we are, but uh, this is yeah. definitely turning into something that was not intended. Um, and somebody's going to be eating crow for this. I think, again, like we stated earlier and on yesterday's uh, five-and-a-half-hour call, that we need to get the sheriffs on board as soon as humanly possible. Uh, if, if, if you're familiar with uh, Sheriff Richard Mack, his people yeah. from CISPA were headed there right now, along with uh, uh, Vanderbeek and a couple other of his people, some senators, some representatives, may even be boots on the ground right now. We are trying to get some live feed from the people that are already there. We were already aware that at least five people that I'm in direct contact with there are there on site, but uh, for some reason, if they may not be on this phone call right now. We're at... Uh, peaked out at almost 180 people right now and uh you know there, there's there's a lot of phone numbers coming up and just to verify who's who right now is kind of difficult but uh do we have um, national hang on one um, news networks there like information uh, informational cameras and documentation of all of this as far as the enemy media nbc cbs and that alphabet soup i'm not sure we know there's a lot of underground groups trying to get uh people there on the ground and other people that are reporting to those groups but uh you know, we're recommending highly that more media attention goes there. The more media attention that's there, the less likely that these uh, uh, uniformed, contracted BLM people are going to be less likely to uh, draw fire. Hey, Brian. This is Alaska. I have a question. Hey, on one second, Alaska. Hold on a second, Alaska. If, uh, if, if you don't have something pertinent to say right now, I need you to mute out your phone, press star six. If you just came on this call, uh, I had Corey. Corey, were you trying to speak up? I got a question. Please, no, All right, I'm going to let you uh, go ahead. Area code 740, uh, ending in 39. What do you have to say, buddy? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, basically, a two part question. It kind of steps, tips off what the last guy just asked. Um, do, do we have any rough estimate of how many boots in there before everybody started getting stopped? And I guess the second part of that is kind of what the last gentleman just said. Are we having areas outside that we're meeting up at. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. There was a, a call yesterday. Although it was a five-and-a-half-hour call, there's a lot to sift through. I'm going to give the playback number for that call. Um, and actually, uh, I'm going to do this, too. I, uh, I'm, if you just type in on Facebook right now, free the people, all one word, free the people, I should pop up. My name is Brian. Um, if you actually type that in, uh, I have posted two posts ago, a complete re-recording in MP3 form of the, uh, the last call uh, yesterday that, that kind of explains that. We were floating around maybe 200 people. Um, and let me go ahead and give you the playback number as well, 559-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2
726-1399, and uh, you can press uh, pound 9794 pound, and that will play back the uh, entire conversation. But as of right now, it's floating around 200, um, and I, I can't. The Morgan is tiny and calm right now. Wow. Yeah, that's good. All right, who's that mumbling in the background? Did you have something to say there, Mr. Imholt? Then go ahead and pound six out your phone if you don't have something to say right now. So, as far as your question, I can only confirm a proxy. of ATF on the ground. Is anybody hearing anything about that? I'm also hearing that there's uh, Las Vegas police and state police headed that direction. Uh, there, there most likely is. I mean, I, at this point, can't really confirm nor deny that. The ground time. Uh, we're getting a lot of feedback right now. This is Missouri here. I got a question. Is Paul being encrypted? Hey, hang on a second, brother. We're getting a lot of feedback, and uh, we couldn't really catch what you're saying. I'm going to keep saying it throughout this call. I need you to press star and then the number six on your phone. That uh, star says if you don't speak English. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. So press star six to stay muted unless you got something to say. Uh, then press star six again. It'll unmute your phone. But just please be courteous. We've got about 190 people on this call right now, and I, I hear you eating cereal and spanking your kids right now. So uh, I believe that was Georgia that was trying to chime in earlier. Uh, go ahead and chime in again. All right, uh, I had a question for Brian about this phone call. Is this encrypted? Because uh, with all this monitoring stuff going around, I heard a call come in earlier asking about who you were, and he didn't have too many other questions after that. And that seemed kind of sketchy. So uh, do you have any encryption going on in this call or all of that? You know, I'll be honest with you, brother. I've been a patriot, you know, as long as back as I can remember. Uh, I'm on about 35 lists right now, and the TSA can verify that. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, I've already asked that everybody keep their calm and keep a cool uh, head and uh, not say anything that would uh, incriminate yourself. Uh, I've got access to every single phone number on this call. So anybody that wants to talk about, you know, hurting people and getting a little reckless, uh, I'll go ahead and report to myself. This is my call. If, you, if you've got that kind of attitude, you can go. You know, we're trying to find solutions here. So if you're monitoring this call, your FBI, CIA, hey, uh, you're the one who's uh, acting in fraud and doing something illegal, and I'm trying to do the right thing here. Brian, All right. I'm, I'm pretty Hello. sure there is no encryption. One other thing I was going to add is that uh, if you want to get a VPN, which would be encryption, there's a couple of them that you can get on your computer that uh, you could – put your uh, IP address into another country like Ukraine, Bezek, all that. Uh, I'm well aware of how to, brother, I, I'm well aware of how to use uh, proxy servers. I appreciate that. Uh, if anybody else wants to go uh, and, and learn more about a proxy server, I highly recommend them. But uh, as of right now, I don't care. I'm not doing anything illegal. So I'd like to, as much as I appreciate what you're trying to say, I just want to kind of stay on subject right now. Uh, Stephanie, I, I think you had a question. Well, I, I'd like to know, and it's not Stephanie, but I'd like to know, you, you had a code for the 555 number again. I didn't get the code to replay if I want to hear it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the same uh, area code and same prefix as the call you're on right now, but okay. the digits end in 1399 instead of 1300. Got that, but the, the other... All right, and there's an audio key is pound 9794 pound. As well, uh, I'm on Facebook, and I put uh, I yesterday's that. call on, and I'm going to put today's call on later. Uh, you can just look up the words "free the people" on Facebook. Got it's it. all one word, "free the people," and I'll pop up. Uh, I've got, got about 15 like requests sitting here. Thank you, Brian. Louisiana. No problem, man. I've got a comment. Uh, hang on one second, brother. Louisiana, can you go ahead and chime in? What do you need to say, brother? Yeah, I just wanted to say that I don't understand why the, this government is going after this rancher mm -hmm. and they're, they have guns drawn and ready. We're well aware of that situation. So what it comes down to right now, this is not about tortoises. This is not about cows. Uh, you know, just to keep it on the legal up and up, these guys are trying to say that uh, he's not paying his own land grazing fees for his cows to eat on his freaking land. 
What this really right. comes down to, this is verified from local real estate agents that have watched the BLM try to acquire his lands and his people's lands for quite some time now. This is most definitely nothing but a eminent domain grab for minerals, ore, and oil, and water. Um, you'll see this blowing up in this region if you stay tuned to uh, other underground news or at least pay attention to other uh, avenues that a lot of land around here has been watched for quite some time. They've been trying to grab it. Uh, to me, this is not, nothing less than illegal eminent domain. So, uh, you know, you can take that, uh, you know, with a grain of salt, but uh, that's what it boils down to. Well, yeah, my thing I was going to say was uh, that... I have a know, question. They're, they're, they got, they're, they're doing this. Hang on, Mickey. I'm sorry. Uh, they're doing this no. uh, over, for whatever reason, he's breaking the law or whatever, but they didn't, they didn't even see uh, a reason to mm. open fire on... Uh, for, the and, and that's what we're that's what we're, to, that's what we're trying to avoid, bro. That's what we're trying to avoid right now. We got a lot of hotheads no, 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 from no, other I states. I know that. I know that. We want to make this peaceful. I understand that. It just it just behooves me that they're doing this to this guy when they didn't do anything for the guys in Benghazi. And, and, and you, you know, you we could get on Benghazi another day, brother. Uh, we, we that's why we're all on the call. We're all concerned Americans, man. Uh, we don't, you know, like what's going on. This has uh, luckily hit, you know, the hearts and minds of uh, many patriot patriotic people across the nation. And uh, y'all can keep spreading word on Facebook right now. This conversation is going to last a couple more hours, I got a feeling. Uh, we're waiting right now for some boots on the ground to chime in. Yesterday's phone call went into uh, five and a half, some odd hours. I expect this to go on to uh, wee hours of the morning with as many people that are on this call right now uh, for a Friday night. That's pretty awesome to see. Awesome to see. Um, we're, we're waiting for people to chime in still that are boots on the ground. I'm going to ask again as moderator of this call, Brian Free the People Duzak, if you could go ahead and press star and then six to mute yourself out uh, unless you've got something important to say. Uh, you can chime in. Just be polite. We're kind of playing this all by ear right now. Uh, we were really successful yesterday. Uh, sorry to chime in on your brother. I think, Mickey, Mickey, you had something to say? Yes, sir. I got something to say. For those of you, for those of you who don't know, the guy that's on the phone call right now is with the Illinois Sons of Liberty, and he's nothing but trouble. He'll say everything on this call that you want, think you want him to say, and he has people on the call that agree with him, act like they don't know him, but they really do. It's really all set up. And if you guys are on this call right now, I wouldn't be on this call. It has anything to do with the Illinois Sons of Liberty or Brian Free the People Duzak? He's nothing but trouble. He's nothing what he says he is. What, what am I, sir? Go ahead, speak up. I'd like to do this lawfully and, you know, right out in the open, man. I, I'm an open book. What, what makes you feel that way? He's a troll. 6049. Now, there's a couple hundred people on this call. Speak up, sir. You got something to say? Yeah, go ahead. I, I mean, hey, no, I have Ryan. to defend myself. Just give me the opportunity. Make... There's a lot of people here do know me. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Make... Brian. Yeah, what's up, bro? Hey, this young is from Plano, Illinois. Uh, I'm an Iraq vet. I uh, got wounded 2003-2004. I'm a naturalized citizen. I came here from, uh, from East Africa as a refugee when I was nine, so uh, I'm all in support of what's going on. But, uh, you know, when you said uh, if you were, you got to be a, a born citizen to be a, a militia member, and I, I took offense to that, so... <laughs> God forbid a revolution starts. Uh, are you a legal citizen, sir? I've got no problem with you if you are. I'm blessed for this country. Yeah, I'm a legal citizen. So you're 100% on the same side as me, man. I've got no beef with you. Sorry if I okay, misworded it. Okay, but I, I'm just saying this. So it's just I'm not trying to be picky like a liberal, but I'm just saying is it, it's uh, I wish I was born there, but, hey, I, I gave my right hand and, uh, and you know, to the Constitution, and I went to Iraq, got shot up, and if I, I can do it again, I do it again. But I just didn't like when you said, uh, you know, you got if you were born here, you got a belly button. Uh, you were in the militia. Well, people like no. me. Okay, you know yeah, I mean? you missed. What? Well, yeah, what I meant to say is, you know, if you're born here, you're already militia. Now, the fact that you know you've taken the uh, legal route to become a citizen, you're also just as welcome as anybody well, else, brother. I'm sorry if uh, if you misunderstood what I was trying to say there. In the bedroom. 
Okay, we're good then. Uh, I'm listening. Uh, hey, hey, bye. Yeah, I didn't mean any harm by that, man. I I just meant, you know, hey, you're 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 militia that when you're an American, and and, and you're an American too, man. So uh, um, go ahead if the next person wants to chime in. Six oh four nine, please. Making. Uh, wireless caller six zero four nine, ma'am. I'm going to let you speak right after this gentleman. Uh, area code uh, last four digits six zero four nine. This is six zero four nine. My name is Brandon Curran. I'm the XO of the Three Percenters Club national team. Can I get it? Good morning. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. It, we have had confirmed reports of two of our teams from the Three Percenters Club detained in Texas and detained in Oklahoma, both in convoys, both going there. No kidding. Yeah, no, confirmed reports. Oh. Uh, I appreciate that. You said, uh, now, are they being held on their borders or, or, or on the inside of the uh, Nevada border? Uh, no, they are being held. Uh, the Oklahoma detainees were held for 14 hours, and they held all 26 of them. The Texas Holy people, shit. the Texas detainees... Two of them are out. That's the only reason we know about it, because we lost total comms with them once they hit the road. But uh, two of them are out, and the other, let me make sure I'm telling you correctly, the other 31 are still being held. Let's head over there. They're being held in Texas? We don't know. Yeah, it, it, we don't know where in Texas, but they were held at a local county in Texas on the way to Nevada. Did they say for what reason? Did any one of them have an iPhone that you can possibly track to find out where? Every comm has been turned off. Okay. But the Oklahoma team is back on the road. Uh, If it's pertinent, if anyone needs to contact me directly, especially moderator on the phone since you have my number anyway, I have been in direct contact with the Bundys. I am in, in constant contact with all leadership from uh, Operation Mutual Aid, and I would receive updates either via telephone or text message hourly. What's, what's the other state besides Texas? Oklahoma. Okay, thank you. Hey, guys, can I have the floor for a sec? Uh, hang on one second. I promised that lady uh, I didn't catch her number, but mm-hmm. is that Karen that was trying to get in on this? No, it was Barbara from Winter Park, Florida. Go ahead. If you could speak up a little bit, ma'am, and uh, this mm-hmm. next gentleman that just asked, if you could speak after her. Hang on one second, bro. Okay, I've got one little bit of information. I was listening to uh, Sean Hannon t- uh, tonight. He's talking about the Bundy uh, had interviews with the Bundys. He said that his crew will be on the ground this weekend reporting live. So if anybody right. can get in touch with uh, the Hannity's to let them know about what's going on, it may get on Fox News. 10-4, we appreciate that, man. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, again, if you didn't have anything to say from this point for now, if you could just press star six on your phone, mute yourself out. We're getting a lot of feedback again. And then uh, the gentleman that, that asked to speak up a moment ago, go ahead, sir. Okay, this is Mike from 28 State Militia here in Texas. Uh, hey, Texas, you got the floor, the- brother. On the report of the three percenters being detained in Texas, can we get a county and that is going to feel detained? I can get Um, that from the two people who have been – I'm sorry, I I spoke up for that. I can get that from the two people who have been released. I can have that info inside 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, I have a question. No, I don't care. Get a pen. I'm going to give you my – Hang on, man. All right, so uh, you get that information. You speak up again, sir, in about 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully you'll yeah, have I, that. Uh, there was a lady that I, just I'm tried to speak up. I'm going to give you my cell number. I, I wanted to contact me off here. You ready? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Up, it's going to be 432-288-1416. One, four, repeat last two. 1416. Copy that. I'll be yeah. on my, right, ma'am. My, my moderator, before anyone else starts speaking, do you have a direct contact line that I can reach you at uh, personally? Uh, Facebook, yeah, but I'm email, not... something? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, just if you go ahead and uh, type in the words free the people, one word on Facebook, uh, I should be the first guy that pops up. My first name is Brian. 
Um, I'm right there on Facebook. Uh, I'm at maximum capacity right now. You could throw in a follow. I'll delete a couple of people and add you in. And all the people that are adding me today, I'll, I'll, I'll get to you in a little bit. I just got to delete some inactive uh, friends and take on some new patriots. Uh, there was okay, a lady, I, I think the, it was... I have the cell phone number. I'm going to have to release this call to get in touch with uh, my people in Texas, and I will contact you and the other person directly with that information. All right, 10-4. And, uh, yeah, we'll also be on this call for a few more hours, I, I believe. Uh, it ran into, like, 3 o'clock in the morning last night, uh, or this morning, and uh, we're going to do that again. Uh, go ahead, ma'am. You wanted this... To, we had a young lady that was trying to speak up. I think it was Iris, was it? No. There was a lady that was trying to speak up. I have a question. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. Uh, we're trying to head out from New Mexico. Is there a... <laughs> uh, well, regarding New Mexico, what did you need to know? Can we can we get to Nevada? Uh, do you have a vehicle and some gas? I mean, yeah, I, I assume you would. I would recommend going... Back road. Uh, there seem to be four major entries to this area. Um, I recommend going in as peacefully as possible. No, no guns brandishing. Come in as a protester and uh, bring extra supplies if you can, and you, you should be okay. Uh, as far as boots on the ground, uh, we have the uh, coordinator liaison between the rancher and the militias, apparently, who's there right now. Uh, if you're heading there, you can contact me directly, and I'll give you his phone number. As of right now, he apparently is uh, pretty much in, in, in charge of command. Um, can we bring so the in? Yes, absolutely. Okay. As long as they're not munitions right now, I'm recommending people bring in as many supplies as possible. Uh, this like is a truck also of water or something and food. I'm sure they could use it eventually if this turns to turn into something. They apparently they've cut off some water. There are water trucks out there now, but it'll never hurt to bring more, man. Right, right. All right, thank you. Um, yes, how can I how can I contact you? Uh, as of right now, this conference call uh, on Facebook under "Free the People" all one word. Um, I can't really give out my number right now due to the fact okay, that I'm monitoring fine. this call, and that's uh, fine. I that's see fine. that there's a, a couple anonymous people here that I'm suspicious of on this call. But I'm gonna go ahead and let them just pay attention to what we're trying to do here. Uh, we're not causing okay, any harm, so no harm, no fall. But, uh, All right, we'll bring we'll bring supplies and water and some food if, can, if we can. Thank you. Uh, go ahead and contact me, ma'am, uh, on Facebook preferably, and I will get you in touch with that liaison, and he'll be able to, uh, to, to, to give you more directives from that point. We're recommending anybody is headed there uh, to report to uh, the you know the chain of command, and uh, you know don't go in guns are blading uh, as hard hard heads right now. If you're heading there, just pretty much stay as a protester, a people protester. That's what they need right now. If you happen to have your uh, munitions uh, secure in your vehicle, uh, you should be okay. I, and we can only confirm a couple people have been arrested heading out. Uh, you know, if you're going in a suspicious caravan wearing your BDUs uh, with your AR-15 on your shoulder, no, you're probably no. going to you're probably gonna get stopped. So I don't recommend that. No, it's just a couple women. Uh, all right, uh, bring, some bring some flowers. Bring some flowers and, uh, you know, bring some posters maybe if you can grab, <laughs> grab some flyers, you know, regarding maybe, uh, you know, uh, constitutional law, um, some of the, uh, you know, uh, federal uh, questionnaires that they give to federal agents, you know, if, if they're pestering you. Um, you know, there's a variety of things maybe we could, you know, use that as a resource for information as well passing out to people and, uh, you know, if you're bringing some ladies out there, be a peaceful protester and try to calm people down so they're not escalating an already volatile situation. I have a okay, question. No. Uh, uh, if that lady's done, you can go ahead and speak up, sir. Yeah, thank you. I'll, just I'll, a get, quick I'll one. be on your Facebook um, page. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I'm going to just, before you get started, sir, I'm going to ask people to go ahead and press star six on their phone if they haven't already. That'll go ahead and mute you out of the conversation so that we don't get all this feedback. Um, you know, if we're getting a lot of feedback from you, I'm going to mute you out, and you're not going to be able to get back in the phone call. So one more time, press uh, star and then the number six, and uh, that'll that'll keep you at bay. If you need to speak up, hit it again, and that'd be great. But go ahead, sir. I sorry to interrupt again. Yes, thank you. I appreciate what you're doing here. Um, just a quick question as far as do we have an approximate head count of both uh, federal and as far as protesters go? 
Uh, not an exact number that I can give you, brother. I heard in the realms of 100 some odd of these uh, uh, Bureau of Land Management guys and a couple federal around, uh, but we also hear that locals, sheriffs, and such are uh, getting some reinforcement, and, and there's a high possibility of uh, DHS. And I heard about MRAPs as well, but uh, I can't confirm that until my uh, boots on the ground gets back to me here in the next Is hour. Is the sheriff's department helping with the protesters or with the feds? I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you over a couple people, so uh, a couple people are about to get muted out for not being polite and pressing star six to mute their phone out. Can you repeat the question, sir? Thank you. Uh, is the sheriff's department in support of the protester bundies or the feds? I uh, can't confirm or deny it, but I do know Sheriff Mack is heading out there with some of his uh, sheriffs from CISPA. Uh, hopefully they'll get this guy back on board. As far as what I have heard, uh, the sheriff is pretty much the chickened out and backed up. And, uh, you know, he, he doesn't seem to have much of a backbone, so I'm hoping some deputies step up. Sir, if you could go ahead and speak up and repeat that, uh, all, all we're getting is a little bit of a little bit of what you're saying. Could you speak up about what you just said, please? Permission. All right, then go. Sir, is the uh, uh, how many counties are, are surrounding? How many sheriffs surrounding that county are supporting the federal government? Or are they supporting the militia? Uh, that's a good question, sir. Nobody knows that answer because we don't have all those sheriffs on board right now uh, on this phone call. But, uh, you know, we are waiting to hear from uh, the guys that are going to be sticking real close to Sheriff Mack. Hopefully Sheriff Mack can give us some feedback on that. As of right now, uh, we can't really answer that question tangibly because we just simply don't know. Okay, I'm in Alabama, and uh, a bunch of us Alabama boys now, we're really looking hard at this situation. And... Uh, we are really thinking about uh, coming out with, if necessary. Now, I've seen all the tales about uh, uh, Make Lackey going to Las Vegas and all this, that, and the other. But I'm saying, if it gets real thick, do y'all still want us to come? Uh, I personally, you know, I'm I'm just a guy from Illinois, man. Uh, my commander recommended I start this conference call yesterday, try to get some people on the same page, and it's blown up. And uh, we've shown a lot of positivity moving forward, trying to get people on the same page. Uh, I can't exactly speak for you or give you any recommendation other than I know that you know people with boots on the ground are recommending more people do show up. We're recommending that you show up peacefully, bring supplies. Uh, apparently, night goggles seems to be a, on high demand. Um, they seem to be decent for food and water. If you're bringing it to hold your own, that's great. Bring extra. Um, but if you are heading out there, we're, again, recommending not going guns a blazing. Uh, we have heard that uh, some members of Oklahoma militia and uh, of various Texas militia have been detained. Um, there was a report of possible gun confiscations uh, heading in from from the inner circle. Um, so, I, again, if you're going in guns a blazing, man, it's not the way to go. I would come in as a peaceful protester that just happens to have a gun in the trunk and uh, leave it at that. Okay. Just a quick update. I agree with that, but uh, I'm just saying right now that uh, the last march on Washington, D.C., it didn't do a hill of beans. Just a bunch of people moving a bunch of barricades around and everything. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, you was there. Okay. So you, you know like I do that... Uh, it was good, and it showed a good protest, but I, I really don't believe that this government is going to heed to anything other than bloodshed. I mean, uh, I mean I'm mean, i an American. I'm an honored discharge veteran. I'm a, uh, a disabled veteran and, and everything else. And, you know, I believe in this country, but I, I'm just saying that just showing out there, I don't see where they've... Uh, done anything to recognize the American people at all since, uh, unfortunately, since the Clinton administration. I got a question. Yeah, many of us are on the same page, man. Um, you know, that's pretty much why we're getting on this call, that get who we can on the same page so that we know nobody gets out of line and, and really uh, 
you know, starts any problems <clears throat> outside of what's already been caused. We'd like to quell the situation, and, you know, people feel that um, maybe this might be the uh, straw that broke the camel's back. Um, you know, we feel that we're kind of being drawn into that situation at this point, and, uh, you know, that only shows us cause to be cautious right now and, uh, you know, try to not do that. You know, if, if we can have some peaceful resolution, I think that'd be good for everybody. You know, I know, agree. know a lot of hotheads and preppers and such are ready for something else, but, uh, you know, I, I maybe we should wait agree. for uh, um, American Spring to pop off. Yeah, I agree. I, I do agree that a peaceful resolution should be sought after. I believe a peaceful resolution should be adhered to. But they are not going to do this. I mean, they've used the EPA to take over ranchers' lands and everybody else's that they deem necessary. Uh, under the Agenda 21 Act, that whatever, the EPA Act or whatever, BLM and everything, uh, it, it's just getting old, man. Everybody's starting to wake up and realize these people really want uh, things that are not in the public interest. And uh, it's got to stop somewhere. And uh, if we can do this peacefully, then please, by all means, do it peacefully. Three, three, nine, but six. if you don't, I guarantee there's plenty of us out here that are just sitting on ready. Do we have a hashtag or some way to get it out over Twitter and Facebook? You had a hashtag. You just put it out there earlier. All right. Uh, I do have something to say, though. And I'll, and I'll post on my Twitter. Hey, can, can, you, you can, anybody, can anybody tell me where Barry Obama is? Is he giving a speech or playing golf somewhere? He likes to he likes to talk crap about everything else that don't matter. This is pretty important. Just curious. Uh, no, he's yeah, yeah, trying to eat Chinese steak or whatever. I don't know, but I, I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now, that man don't give a damn about America. Now he's a one man sleeper cell man. He proves it every single yeah, day. Yeah, every day. Every, every day. goddamn day. All right, uh, uh, from Mississippi has a question. <clears throat> I know you're. I know we're. Oops, sorry. I want to know what tactical stuff is going on out in there in the desert. Are they getting into the um, sensors that are buried underground? Looks like helicopters and drones and uh, sniper teams are deploying, from what I've seen so far. Hey, this is Brian in Tennessee again. Brian, are you still there? Okay, put it out to everybody else. There was a report that went out. I don't know if it's been confirmed or not, but uh, it was brought up about the tortoises and everything else out there. Um, apparently, the real reason behind this whole situation is there is some corporation that refuses to be named that actually wants to build solar power stations on that property. Well, that's Harry Reid's corporation. Yes. He's doing the same thing down here at Searchlight. Him and his kids, they got all that land on a no-contract bid for BLM land. And it's all paid for by the federal government. So. Call Harry. Right. Uh, I've got some intel from someone in California from, who's in Bartslow uh, on I-15 heading northeast. was yep. 15 and 20. Go ahead, say that again. I-15 headed northeast. What happened? Uh, I-15 headed northeast, uh, 15 to 20 Humvees, full of men. Uh, they, that goes strictly to the The federal, federal Humvees? Well, it was a convoy. Convoy with 50 calibers mounted on them? Uh, yes. No kidding. Hey, can anybody out there hear me? Yeah, vote for Obama, man. My yeah, wireless caller, anybody can hear me? Yeah, we heard you. All right. I just want to let you guys know that, uh, I mean, tactics-wise, I was, I, I just recently, well, not recently, back in 2012, I got out of the Marine Corps. Um, I know there's a lot of militia members from all over the country right now heading that way. Um, uh-huh. You guys are out there in the desert, and if, I mean, it's true what you guys are saying about drones and helicopters and sniper teams. You guys are completely vulnerable out in the open. Oh, good. I mean, just be careful. You have no yeah. you have no type of cover or concealment whatsoever out there. I mean, you guys are just basically fishing a barrel. 
Here, but the, here's it. One thing we're not we're not looking at is yeah, we're trying to get into the center. They have rings around the people trying to get into the center. Yes. Yeah. Have enough people offset it and ha start another center of a circle or try to go around them or have intermittent spots where you have people with their guns, which they cannot confiscate if they are not doing anything illegal, yeah, no, and they can be among or right near them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying try to go through barricades or do anything violent, but yeah, you I'm are there, good. you are close, you are connected, and you are armed. I'm on a conference you know? call. Well, well, they will still take the guns whether you say no or not. Even uh, even with the second, they don't care about the Constitution, obviously. That does sound like anonymous. I'm just trying. That's just a guy talking. Let him talk, talk with you. Yeah, the dude that was just talking, saying it, it, it wasn't a judicial message. Like not the dude that was just talking right before I say it. The dude before him. What about it? He's not like anonymous. That's just a guy talking, man. He has a low voice. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tripping tonight. I, I got a question. Right. I, I heard that the Bundys were out there and they'd already rustled up 30 of their own cattle. Is there any true report for that? Uh, uh, yeah. Somebody chimed in earlier that 300-something were already grabbed and there's 120-some-odd left. All right. Thank you. Jessica, Mr. Brian, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, last four digits, 9206, speak up. Yeah, Brian, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, man. Can you comment on the Red River situation? Uh, we actually had a lady uh, it, currently in that situation, was on the phone call yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the playback number for uh, yesterday's phone call. Not only is it right now on my Facebook page, uh, posted earlier today, the MP3 version, uh, two two posts ago, but the uh, playback number is 559-726-1399.